under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the Texas Rangers and the Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball on the Show is next. Rich Hill, a left-hander from Massachusetts, will be doing the starting pitching here. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch Maybe in this one here today. Texas. So here is Isaiah kiner Falefa. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They come in off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Matty B. Hey, Dero, we're looking at a team playing some pretty good baseball right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. Brock Holt is at the plate now, and he All takes one. a cold strike. One out, nobody on. Sent out to straightaway center field. A Rosarena is there, two gone. Batting third. That'll bring in Nick Solak. Nick Solak. First pitch on the way. A bouncer to the left side. Barehanded at his knees. He is out. So not much happening here in the top half of the first. Now it's the race turn. No score. Kyle Gibson, the right-hander out of Indiana, will be doing the pitching in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, coming on Kyle Gibson to pitch. Four pitch mix. Not an overpowering guy. More of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy. Fastball 89 to 93. Curveball changeup and slider. He's a guy you'll know if he's on early. He's going to induce a lot of ground balls. If he's getting pop-ups and fly balls, that's dangerous. He's not a power type pitcher. First pitch on its way. Brett Phillips is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. And, fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. It was another loss for him last time out, and that makes them 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games. Yeah, Matty, I hope these guys were listening today during the hitters meeting. Because they have not been swinging at bats well. They only scored one run in the loss yesterday. And somewhere along the line, this offense has to execute at a higher level if this team's going to compete. Hey, that's a good sinker right there. That's his bread and butter pitch. And if he's got that going, especially early, it's going to be tough to get some runs off him. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Liner, but picked up on a hop. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. In now, Austin Meadows. In the dirt here. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The 1-0. Down the first baseline. But a foul ball. One and one. Career against Kyle Gibson is just one for six. Now the one and one pitch. Strike taken to throw. It's high but a fine play to come down with it at second. And he's out trying to steal a base.
swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Nothing in the Tampa first. On to the second now from Tropicana. Still nothing, nothing. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. Only one hit for him in his last four ball games. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Gallo is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. Behind 0-2 now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter. And it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, oh, Willie Calhoun. Man. One ball, no strikes to count. Nope. Slider laid off for a ball. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers pitches and when he's getting the ball in his own he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Two and one now. Oh textbook <laughs> slider there and he's back at even two and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He that fell behind 2-0 oh to start the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Nate Lowe digging in now. He'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. No score here as we play inning number two. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. One, two, three, go the Rangers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And now here is Brandon Lau. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Got it. Here's Randy Arozarena. He's two for seven in the series so far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Nope. Outside. You'd never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Here's a fly ball, well hit. On the run is Tavares, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. Around second, he's on his way to third. The relay, but he is yeah. in there with a triple. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders. Heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. At the plate now, Willie Adamas. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Bottom of the second here with no score. is way outside and he can't even get a glove on it. A play at the plate. The tag and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. A 1-1 home. And it 
it's fouled away. He'll try again, one, two. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Rays held in check here. We'll move to the third with no score. Ready now is Shirton Apostle. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Hit out towards second. Reined in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So next to bat will be Jose Trevino, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Man, that's one of those. How could you not swing at that one? A good take there on that pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ballgame. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Grounded back up the middle. Adamas picks it up. And that's the second out. Digging in to the switch hitter, Leody Tavares, as the switch hitter will bat right handed here. And now pitch on the way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. That misses oh, that wide. Guy. One ball and one strike. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0-2. And he punts the fastball by him here. One and two now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball? Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Third inning, no score to this point. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. High fly ball out to straightaway center. A Rosarena will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Rangers set down in order. Home half of the third coming up. No score. Bottom of the inning now. And that brings up the corner infielder G-Man Choi. The first baseman. G-Man Choi. And now the first pitch. One on its way. And that misses one and one. Check his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Now the two one. Ball three. Yandy Diaz, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. The 3 1. And 
good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. He's set. Here it comes. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. To second for one. On the first to complete the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff block. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. So now to the plate, Francisco Mejia. As the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Into the corner and slicing foul. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Very weakly on the ground. Now another 0-2. And look out as that one ran in and got him. And I'm sure that one stings a little bit. The best revenge he can get for his pain is to find a way to come around to score. We'll see if his guys can move him around the bases. Brett Phillips will bat next. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's set and the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Off the plate and in, hits a ball and a strike. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. The one-two is a fastball down below the knees. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. And a sinker there. Swung on and missed for out number three. Ray's strand just the one. We'll head to the fourth. Still scoreless. So now up steps Isaiah Kiner Falefa back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. One and two, here it comes. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now back. Let's Stepping in once again Brock. is Brock Holt. He flew out in his last A.B. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Now the slider gets the call in the bottom part of the zone. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Swing and a miss oh, and he's two. quickly in the hole 0 and 2. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, that's back to back really good sliders. I wouldn't be surprised if he threw another one right here. Looks like he's got that slide ball in his back pocket right now. And there's out number two. Next, here is Nick Solak. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning form. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Scooped up. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. 
One, two, three, go the Rangers. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Matt Vaskersen back with Mark DeRozan and Dan Plezak as Kevin Kiermeyer settles in to start the Kevin. inning. Kiermeyer. First pitch coming, here it is. Kevin Aye. Kiermeyer is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And this is swung on and missed and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. Made pretty quick work of him right there setting him down on only four pitches and what I liked about all of those pitches what they were down around the knees or lower pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot into the box Austin Meadows and on the first pitch he grounds foul comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. No yeah, offer on that one. one. Two balls and a strike. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2 1. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. No runs, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And another foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Meadows is retired. Two down now. No matter. Number eight. Up next for the Rays, Brandon Lau. He bounced out last time up. First delivery to him. Great job by the pitcher right there changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings, and this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at bats for this team right now. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And that one yanked just foul. Again, a one two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. You know, these kind of at bats can drive you crazy when you're on the mound. I mean, he's been ahead of him pretty much the whole time, but he just can't put him. In. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Down in order go the Rays. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. We're back at Tropicana Field, and let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right. Thanks, Heidi. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Joey Gallo will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Man, he's looking sharp so far. 80% of his first pitches are for strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Now the 0-2 pitch. Now a swing as he stays alive as this is fouled back right off the catcher's arm. Hmm. 
This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Let's take a look at the sequence here again. The first three pitches, all three down in the zone. So now you've got a guy that's thinking something down around the knees. He's conditioned to kind of look down there. That's when you mix it up and put it by him at the letters. Willie Calhoun comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Front door curve is taken. Strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Nate Lowe is at the plate as he watches ball one, trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Lifted down the line and left. And he's able to get there on the long run, and he covered a lot of ground there as the side is retired. Rangers set down in order. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And he told me he's pretty unhappy with their discipline at the plate in this one. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. All right, Heidi, thank you. So now to the plate, Randy Rosarena found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Digging in will be Willie Adamas. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Hey. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Here's the pitch. That's Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it. Two and two. I got to count. Two and two. Bases are empty. One man out. Got it. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take. And he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the flag. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Throw the first oh. with time to spare, and the side is retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Top half of the sixth about to get started and set to go as the third baseman. Shirt and Apostle. First pitch on the way. Hit out towards second. And the Rangers are in the hit column. Hey, so far it's been easy pickings for this pitcher. He's gone through this lineup almost unscathed. But right there, leadoff single. Middle part of the game. Let's see if he makes an adjustment before they do. Standing in now, Jose Trevino, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's 0-1 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Apostle aboard here at first with nobody out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. 
grounded up the first baseline. A step on the bag for one, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Here's one that you don't see too often, right? Safe at second base, but out at first. Great hustle there from the runner going into second. Really showed off his speed. Into the box now, Leody Tavares. As he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. Meadows is there. Two down. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Isaiah Kiner Falefa. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Bouncer to the left side. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. One left for Texas. We are still scoreless. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Yandy Diaz. First pitch of the A.B. now. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Left side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Dan, after that base hit right there, he's got a six-game hit streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. First with no outs here. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Here comes the 1 2. Misses for the second ball. Here now the 2-2. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Swing and a liner. Uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. The batter. No left fielder. Right. Hello. Up next, Brett Phillips, who was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Wheels and deals. Here's the first nope. pitch. Hey, this is a left handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. That evens it up one and one. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night, working that outer half of the plate. That's why he's having so much success. Yank on the ground down the line. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Seventh inning coming up, and we still have no score. Here's Brock Holt now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strikes at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Phillips moves over a few steps to his right as he's got it for the first out. 
Into the box. Nick Solak. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Line hard toward right center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, Matt, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Here's Joey Gallo now. As he'll take a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. In now, Willie Calhoun. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Hey, after starting the game 0 for 2 oh, with two punch outs, lead. that single had to the feel good lead. right there. Nice piece yeah. of hit. Yeah. Now to the plate, here is Nate Lowe. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. A 2-1-1 count to the Rangers' first baseman. And it's two balls and two strikes now. And he struck him out. Seven for the ball game, and that ends the inning. Rangers leave a pair. Still no score. Last half of the seventh here, and standing. Pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Now a swing and a miss, and no things are not looking right. real promising here. Down 0-2. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes. He kind of looked clueless on oh, that swing God. right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Here comes the one two. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Stepping in now, Austin Meadows. As the first pitch ball misses to him, it's ball one. No hits to this point. All Downstairs, two. two balls and no strikes. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Swung on and missed. I got two on the count. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Pulled toward right center field. 
Chasing after it is Tavares. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau becomes in 0 for 2 thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. His slider's been impressive all night long. If he can continue spinning it like that, he's going to be just fine. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Down in order go the Rays. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Chaz Rome has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 50. So stepping in is Shirton Apostle, singled last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. And here's a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So his day is fully over. As you get a look at the pitching line for the Rays starter, he was great all night long. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Late decision to swing that time. And as a result, it's 0 and 2. Still no balls and two strikes. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball. And the count holds it 0-2. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Hit high and deep to right center. And he will make the play. Two away now. David Dahl will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. First pitch on the way. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 0. Grounder down the line at third. And this will be just what the manager ordered as he's off the bench with extra bases. The throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Boy, after that base knock right there, d -roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Stepping in next. First offering on its way. Hit in the air down the right field line. And no one will get this one. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. In there and he's in control 0-2 now. On 0-2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open. So he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. Here's a shot to right field and that's going to be in for a base hit. Right. Heads for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Boy, those have to feel really good, Dero. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Brock Holt is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. 2 0 the count to the Rangers left fielder. Lifetime in this matchup, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. The 2 0. Nasty 2 0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. 2 1, here it is. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Going, 2 2. Going. Runner goes for second. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. 
So they'll slap an error on the catcher there, and you can tell he's not happy back there. Now it'll be Nick Solak in a big at bat in this one. Two on, two away here in the eighth. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Rangers will have to be content with just the one. Eli White will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. Now playing center field, number 41. Leading off the inning, it'll be. Here's the first pitch. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Next, it'll be Willie Adamas. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Couldn't resist on that one. He's behind nothing and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Swing and a ground ball to third. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Lays off that time and it's one and two. And that misses two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Yet another strikeout for him on the mound. And fellas, this has been one of his favorite victims tonight. That's the third time he sent him back. So he's got him pretty well figured out. Not that the rest of this lineup has been much better. G-Man Choi the next to hit. As he lines it out to center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with the single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Yandy Diaz is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Choi at second with two down. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Rounded down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. Nothing will come with a two-out double as the inning is over. Two-out double left stranded. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Diego Castillo enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Castillo. Set to start the ninth in this one. And standing in is the veteran outfielder, Joey Gallo. First pitch coming. Here it is. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. All over the place to start the ninth. It's 3-0 and now. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. 
Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Willie Calhoun stands in as he looks at a called strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's the third time in this game he's gone down on strikes. Not the game he was hoping to have when he was taking batting practice, but at least his guys are ahead. At the plate now, Nate Lowe. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Step on the back for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Nothing more in the Texas half of the ninth. Last chance for the Rays. They trail here one nothing. Now into the box, Francisco Mejia. And Dan, what's gone wrong for this lineup today? They're only three outs away from being shut out. Well, you know, I just haven't seen a lot of fight in these at bats. Now, of course, plenty of credit goes to that pitching, but the effort on the offensive side has been pretty lethargic watching from up here in the booth, Matt. Yeah, I would imagine it feels the same from watching in the stands in this one. Behind 0-2 now. Good waste pitch, one and two. Well, he's thrown a lot of pitches in this one, but it's not like he's walking a bunch of guys. Only one free pass to this point, but they're still making him work really hard. The bouncer to the left side, scooped up, and the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Stepping up is Brett Phillips. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. One out, nobody on. Grounded to the right. Reined in. Throw to first to be in time, and the Rays are now down to their final out. Boy, I'll tell you, the defense has been stellar all night long. They've got the shutout working, and there's another super play to rob them of a hit. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Looked like the sinker there dipped a little below the knees. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. Oh, Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. and oh. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he'll be called out at second in a tough way to end it here as this ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. The Rangers came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Kyle Gibson earns his first win of the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Yo, si reporte la sierra o el Rolls Royce, el bote parqueado en San Croix.
Viviendo la vida como si se va a acabar hoy Yo, tranquilo en la mía que estoy Que muchas suspiro, Dios más los bendiga a mis hijos No nacen otros como Flo y la baby le llegan Los míos al día no le falta nada Las guaguas son negras, están todas blindadas Tú no allá afuera, aquí estoy lo Es que mi tiempo me vale dinero No te asustes si te sin todos los ceros La vida me bendigo porque me mero Soy mi jefe, eso va por lo que yo quiero Que arriba no llegan Final line score for our ballgame tonight, 